Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex, and today the Agents of Shield are finally getting their tier twos. Holy shit, guys! This is what we were waiting for. There are not many characters left without their tier twos. We actually just had Deathlock, Agents of Shield, Daisy, Lincoln, and Philip, and that's it. Finally. Every single character in the game has their tier 2. What a fucking revelation. I am super excited, guys. We recently covered, and you guys really enjoyed, Let's Make Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. great. Obviously, Netmarble, me being a dev, uh, tuned into that one, and I talked to them in the board meeting, and they were like, oh, Cynic Alex, we love your ideas, so let's take basically none of them and implement them into the game. So guys, let's check out what we're getting as far as the new upcoming get to be announced tier twos for the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Now as I said guys, I don't know when these tier twos are coming out, but it's a mid-month update patch. So probably, you know, within a couple of days to a week, we should have this dropped in our laps to play with. So first up, Daisy Johnson, Girl Next Door. I passed on her in the Pass or Smash video, but let's see what they're giving her as far as an update. So when Daisy uses her more bang for your punch skill, which is her best skill that buffs up two attacks for 180% at level six, she will get 15% defense penetration for seven seconds. She's gonna get 20% guaranteed dodge for 10 seconds and 100% chance to pierce her attacks against barriers, shields, and all damage immune. What pierce means or penetrate means that she will still do damage if Doctor Strange's immunity is up, if Loki's shield is up, or if someone has a barrier up or some kind of defensive bubble. It doesn't state whether it pierces through invincibility like Carnage or Thanos, but we will have to see in testing. It sounds like a very strong effect. 10 seconds and seven seconds are the uh, lasting times for the skills. More bang for your punch can be cast a maximum of once every 10 seconds if you have max skill cooldown. So you can have that pierce up for most of the time. You can have the guaranteed dodge up all of the time but you do have to keep casting this skill. It's a pretty strong tier two passive. She is quite vulnerable to damage, so that doesn't really address it. The 20% guaranteed dodge is not enough. The 100% chance to pierce or penetrate against immunity sounds very meta important because of characters like Corvus, Thanos, Odin, Doctor Strange, who all have immunity and barriers and stuff like that. But given the fact that Daisy is not a hard-hitting character to begin with, she's only used to tweak other characters' damage, we'll have to see just how useful that really is. Moving on to Phil Big Forehead Coulson, that's his name, his tier 2 passive is as follows. We kind of got it right, guys, so pat ourselves on the back. Applying to all hero allies in the team, so this is only heroes, not supervillains, 15% decreased damage received from supervillain types, 45% increased damage dealt to supervillain types, and then 20% guaranteed increased crit rate. That's huge. So he's basically taking the passives or the tier two passives of a character like Ghost Rider, wherever Ghost Rider is, which gives a uh, damage increase to supervillains and a reduction in damage from supervillains, so take that, those two stats, except, you know, change the numbers around a bit, and give 20% increase guaranteed critical, all crit rate, which is part of War, War Wolf's, part of War Wolf's tier two passive right there, and you have Phil uh, Coulson's new tier two passive. That is very powerful. That does cement him as one of the upcoming premier support tier twos in the vein of War Wolf, in the vein of Ancient One, Groot, Wasp. Uh, this is gonna be an instant tier two for a lot of high level veteran players because of how powerful this is. You know, Doctor Strange is a hero, Odin is a hero. So both of those are going to benefit from that. That's a 15% decrease in damage, a 45% increase to characters like Dormammu, Thanos. It's huge. It's gonna really help against world boss. We don't know yet if it's going to help against uh, alliance battle if the frost beast and the robots are typed as supervillains if they are it's going to be the difference between a great score and an ab astonishing insane score that we've never seen before in no restriction day potentially because dr strange doesn't always need the buff from war wolf uh for crit rate if you and crit damage rather if you have that set up 
So Phil Coulson, Coulson may provide an even greater benefit than uh, Warwolf with uh, Doctor Strange and She-Hulk. But we'll have yet to see. Right now, very promising tier 2 passive. Wow, great moves. Deathlock, our boy, is getting something a little bit different than what we anticipated. Kind of sounds like it sucks, but we'll have to see how it works out. When he uses any of his skills, perfect shot, missiles, soldier, cover fire, tactical shootout, but not his basic attack, he's going to get skill damage increase of 50%, bonus damage increase of 30% for 5 seconds on a 7 second cooldown, and then he's going to get a uh, 5 guard hit for 5 seconds. 5 guards is not that long, 5 seconds is a long time, but 5 hits is not that many to guard against. Uh, it's only for 5 seconds and it's on a 7 second cooldown, so there's still 2 seconds when he can get hit. It's a pretty embarrassing, it's a pretty lackluster tier 2 passive. We'll have to see just how good it is in play, but I don't think this brings the character up to a respectable level. Especially considering there's still no uh, iframes or special events or special procs or CC on any of his skills. This doesn't make him much better for Shadowland, and it doesn't make him any better in any other game mode than he was previous to this so I'm a little bit disappointed with Deathlock they could have done more for him and they could have done something that's more thematic to the character lastly of course agents of shield we cannot forget the man who sacrificed himself as people tell me uh, on the live stream because I don't watch agents of shield fuckboy haircut Lincoln Campbell what is he getting he's getting believe this 50% increase lightning resist that's a real thing guys his 3% or his what is this where is it his 41.4% lightning resist, so he has a base lightning resist of 20%, riveting stuff, guys, is being increased by 50%. He really needed more lightning resist, so he's getting it. Whew. All those angry Redditors who were complaining about how low his lightning resist was, how satisfied they are now. Anyways, he's also getting decreased lightning, decreased energy damage received by 25%. Now that's meaningful. That's all incoming energy damage reduced by a quarter. Odin, Thanos, Proxima, Doctor Strange, Enchantress, most of the heavy hitters deal energy damage, but 25% is just not enough for such a frail character like Lincoln, but he's also getting 22% increased skill damage and 18% increased bonus damage. Honestly, with some of these numbers, it feels like they're roll it feels like Netmarble just rolling a dice, they're playing roulette. These random numbers 45, 28, 38, 15. I don't know where they come up with these through QA and testing, but I I guess that's it's enough for for for, for uh, Lincoln. I mean, he does have a 60% self-buffing leadership. I don't think he needed a damage boost, but he definitely needed a lot of uh, survivability, and he got none of that in his tier two passive. I mean, 25% reduced damage from energy attacks is just not enough. But there's more, guys. Just wait. They are also going to be giving three of the four characters we discussed a bit of a tweak and a character rebalancing, which is really important. Now, sadly, we gotta, you know, light a candle, pour out some OJ for Deathlock. He is not getting any updates, any touches to his character whatsoever. They, I guess, thought that he was balanced enough as is to not need any tweaks, but the rest of them are getting something. So what is Daisy Johnson getting? Now, these are character rebalances, guys, so keep in mind these will take effect whether you have Daisy Johnson at one star or at tier two. It's not gonna matter. You will still see the following changes. She is getting her normal attack animation sped up, her pulse punch uh, animation range increased, real stunner iframe added when she rolls, which is very nice. We love to hear iframes. Uh, the most important one for Daisy Johnson is actually no bang for your punch. They're now not requiring the skill to have a target. So what that means is before or now, if you play the game and you cast this skill, Daisy will have to run up to the enemy and cast the skill by jumping backwards. That's kind of shit because she has to then get into range, she can get hit, she can get punished, she can get crowd controlled, stunned, etc. Now you can be miles away from the enemy and you can cast this skill and switch safely, easily, and then stop playing as Daisy Johnson. Very good change to the character. It will make passing the buff way, way easier. They are also making vibrations an iframe when she's in the air, which is good because she does jump up a lot and it's kind of strange how that wasn't an iframe before. And then Quake will now pull enemies in instead of pushing them out, which is great. Phil is getting a very hefty change to some of his skills. He is getting an iframe when he casts Melinda May and he jumps to the side, which is really good. Her cooldown time is being reduced from 20 seconds to 15, so you can 
recast her before she dies, and the enemy detection rate is being increased. So that means that when Melinda May is on the field, the enemy will will see her, target her, aggro her, will get her attention, and she will get the enemy's attention from a larger range, from, from farther away. That's really good for keeping Phil out of the, de the damage range and out of attacks and keeping the, the focus on his summons. As well, his captain card summon will now give him guard against hits. So when he does this, he kind of has to like hold up something to his ear or pull out something. So he's rooted. So it's really good that they're giving him a guard when he casts this skill because uh, it's going to make it a more defensive skill. You can use it for survivability sake, not just to summon Captain America. And you can summon him much more safely. They are also reducing the cooldown from 25 seconds to 20 seconds. So as you can see, this lasts for 15 seconds, which max skill cooldown. You can have Captain America up all the time. Same with Melinda May being reduced to 15 seconds. She's here for 10 seconds, and you can summon it every 7.5 seconds. That's fantastic. Lastly, guys, Lincoln is getting some tweaks, some buffs. His electromagnetism skill is going to uh, charge at the enemy so he gets into close range. I don't know why that is. I don't know why they made that change, but whatever. He's going to get into close range because we know how tanky he is. Then his protective dome skill, which summons a, a lightning dome around him, similar to Maximus's, smaller than Odin's, will now provide guard hits, which will also apply to other ally characters inside the dome. So this will kind of be uh, a mixture between Odin's uh, Asgardian barrier skill and Wasp's skill, because the, the dome won't provide guard hits unless you're in the dome. So just like Wasp's skill, you have to be inside. But it, unlike Wasp's skill, it won't give you immunity. It will just give you a number of guard hits, as yet undetermined, like Odin's or Maximus's does, which is great. This is exactly what Lincoln needed, some survivability. Lastly, his last uh, and most important skill, Magnetic Repulsion, the one that you know from Shadowlands, famously, where it casts the, the big lightning ball and then enemies get caught and they get stunlocked and you can actually win a rumble and feel good about yourself one in a million times because it almost never happens properly. Well, they're making that a lot easier. They're going to summon the ball at the beginning of the skill, which means there's no wind-up, and the damage will be dealt quicker. Now, that can be read one of two ways. That either means this will be an excellent skill for clearing Shadowlands Rumbles and make it really easy to lock down opponents, even in a 2v1 relay, or it could mean that it is easier to lock onto them and get them locked down initially but that the skill resolves faster so you get less time where they're stunned. Because it says it deals damage quicker, but if it doesn't last as long on the field as a, you know a, a recurring attack, that means that they could leave their stunned stasis mode faster and then come at you before you can recast Magnetic Repulsion. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you're going to have to look up some videos of what Lincoln does to get that, that stun to happen, but it's ex extremely hard to reproduce reliably in Shadowland. So from my initial reading, it sounds like they're making that easier, but we'll have to wait and see exactly what that means for the character. Finally, guys, if you did check out the latest live stream, I was raging pretty hard against Black Dwarf, especially because after you crack his shield like Supergiant, he still lets out the blast. He can still one-shot or two-shot your characters with that bug. They are at least saying that they will be addressing it in the upcoming mid-month patch with the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. update and the Tier 2s. So guys, with that being said, I am really, really hyped not only for Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but I can finally do an updated Tier 2 video now that every single freaking character is going to have their Tier 2. Guys, how hype are you for that? Let me know in the comments. Hit me up with which Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. you think has the best Tier 2 passive upcoming. Who are you going to Tier 2 first? Next door Daisy, Big Headed Phil, or Lincoln Campbell? Because nobody's Tier 2-ing Deathlock. And of course, guys, if you like what you see, I hope to see you again tomorrow. Venom. Take care.